Hello people, welcome back to my channel Fitness Geek and uh, in today's technical session we are going to use the same environment that we have created in our previous video. If you haven't watched it yet, uh, I'll share it here and so in previous video we created a SQL Server environment in an Azure VM and today we are going to test backups and restores. So we are going to backup the database into the storage account and we'll use the SAS token here so uh, so what we are going to do is we'll create credentials on the database using SAS token and then we'll create a backup using the SAS token and once the backup has completed successfully we'll use the same backup the full backup and we'll restore it on the instance uh, with a new name so it will be a quick session quick video and this is just to make sure that our backups are running fine so that we can use the Ola Helen Grin script in our next video to configure uh, our backups and our maintenance jobs so let's begin let me first log in into the demo SQL server that we installed in our previous video if you have not watched that video yet uh, share the link and you can go ahead and watch the installation of SQL Server 2019 on an Azure VM. I have logged in into the VM and I have connected to the instance. So I am connected to the instance. If you see we have created a demo database. If you look at the jobs we do not have any backup jobs yet. Let's query the backup set select star from msdb backup set so as of now we do not have any backups scheduled or any backups taken for the databases so what i'm going to do is first create a storage account this is where all our backups will go so let me quickly create a backup i mean a storage account Fill in all the information for the storage account. MS equal backup. It's already taken, so it has to be a unique name. That should do. MS equal backup demo. This is where we will take our backups. Let me select North Europe. And let me change the replication to ZRS. I'll go with the defaults for all other settings. Let me, you can use any tags if you want. Let me categorize it as production. Validation passed. Let's create the storage account. So the storage account is done. Let's go ahead and create a container. This is the container where our SQL backups will reside. Let's name it SQL Backup. The container is ready. So to connect to a storage uh, account, you can either use the access keys or you can use the SAS tokens. SAS tokens is nothing but the shared access signature tokens. We are going to use the SAS tokens. So let me go ahead. Uh, we are not using the access keys. Uh, as we know, access keys uh, you know have higher privileges. We will just use the SAS tokens. Right now we do not have any credentials. Let me get the create credentials script. So if uh, I'll share this link in description. So if you see uh, 
creating a credential using SAS token. So just copy this. Paste it into the instance. So we'll need to change a few things. We will need to change provide the storage account full URL and the token. So let me go to the portal and get the full URL for the container. If you go to the container, click on the container, go to the properties, you can see the full URL of the container. Paste it over here. So it's create credential and the full URL with identity shared access signature so if you see the comment it says this is mandatory string and do not change it then the secret let's go ahead and create a SAS token for this storage account click on shared access signature We'll need the blob permission I mean blob services to be allowed container objects and start an expiry date so what you should uh, usually do in your production environment is to rotate your shared access signatures yearly or six months so once you have generated your SAS token copy it in your clipboard and paste it in your script One thing here to note is there's a question mark at the beginning. You need to remove that. I have wasted a lot of time trying to run that without with that question mark and it used to you know fail and later I realized that it won't work that way. So once our credential is created, let's go to the database tasks backup back up to URL and in the drop drop down select your storage container things look good let's click OK the backup of the database successfully completed so let's go back to the portal and check our container I'll just copy the SAS token in notepad so that if I need it later I can use it in the containers if you see we have the backup of the database demo available so we have successfully taken the backup now let's try to restore using the same backup as a new database select your container now you need to provide the SAS token again you need to remove the question mark at the beginning so go at the top remove that question mark once done you'll be able to find the backup select your backup selected give that database a name you see uh, you'll have a warning a tail log backup of the source database will be taken we don't need that I'll untick that and let's give it a name demo underscore restore that should do and files if you see it creates MDF and LDF with underscore restore once that is confirmed click OK and your restore is done the database restore has also completed successfully so that's all for today's video today what we did uh, if you we summarize we created the credentials 
using the SAS token. Then we took a backup and then we used the same backup file to test the restore and both all the things were completed successfully. In our upcoming videos, we will use the same environment and we will configure Ola Helen Grinch script for scheduled backups. We will also configure the index optimization and database integrity checks. So stay tuned for the next part of this series and if you like this video please go ahead and like and provide a feedback also if you are new to this channel please do subscribe and help me